So in this video, we're going to discuss Avalink. Now, we're not going to talk about features, functionality, anything like that. This video is going to be short, but I believe it's one of those videos that should be useful. Here's the thing. A lot of us like to use this program, although it's not perfect, it has its problems, but it's a pretty useful app. You can log in, update your application, download your apps from within this program. But the one thing a lot of us hate, this program opens up during the launch of your operating system. Now, we're going to be focusing on Windows, but I'm sure you can do this with Mac as well. This is very simple to solve, and there are multiple ways to do it, but I'm going to show you the easiest way. All you want to do is open your task manager. Once you open your task manager, you want to locate this startup tab, Avid link, and as you can see, I already did this, disabled. By default, it should look like this. Everything here should be enabled. So what you want to do is you want to right-click, disable, reboot your computer. This program should no longer start up during boot up. What about if you're using earlier versions of Windows? Windows 8, Windows 7 should be identical. It's been a very long time since I used those operating systems. So I'm not sure if Windows 8 works exactly like Windows 10, but what I'm about to show you absolutely works for Windows 7 and it might work for Windows 8. If it doesn't, the same method that I just showed you for Windows 10 should work for Windows 8. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna open the run command by holding Windows R. You're gonna type in msconfig. The system configuration window should open. You're gonna look for the startup tab. In Windows 10, we don't have this option. I believe in Windows 7 and Windows 8, you should have all the items here. It should look something like this. And you want to uncheck the item that you no longer want to open up during startup. By the way, just in case you're wondering, how do I get to Task Manager? The old school way is usually all Control Delete, but I don't do that anymore. Another way you can do it, Control Shift Escape. It's going to open that up. Another pretty cool way to do it, it's right click on the toolbar and go ahead and click Task Manager. So you may be asking the question, Ray, shouldn't I just uninstall the program? You can do that. The problem with that is every time you update your Pro Tools rig or you reinstall your software, it's gonna reinstall that application. So might as well just leave it there and just uncheck it. For whatever reason, if you need to use the application, you can open it, log in, update your software, download new purchases. Then after that, you can close it. Nothing changes. 